Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2011 Chrysler Town & Country Limited. Um, it's got a lot of awesome features, so I'm going to quickly go through them. Um, this does have the projector headlights and fog lights and uh, premium wheels and stuff. Um, luggage racks on top, leather and all that good stuff, navigation. And But one of the coolest features about it is you can see here on the key fob, um, you can go ahead and there's a lot of features you can do. Like I so, said, I'm going to go ahead and, lock, and start it up. And um, now that it started, um, if I would like, I can also um, open up these side doors. Like so. That way everybody can pile right on in. And I can also open up the back by pushing this button here. It'll open up. That way I can put groceries or whatever. Um, and this does have the backup sensors and it does have a backup camera. Right up there somewhere. Alright, so now here in the back, um, you can see the storage area right here. This is where you can store stuff, of course, but you can also store away your seats. So I'm going to go ahead and this, this is all um, uh, electric, so I can go ahead and push a button and the seat will fold right on down and get out of the way. So in case I need to um, you know, put some stuff in here and uh, I need a flat surface, it's that easy, just pushing a button. And you can see I could put one down, one up, both down, whatever I want to do. Um, you can see that I can also still have a passenger there and some cargo space here. So, got a little flashlight over here in case you need it. And um, there's your controls for the back seats. And you can see they've got some pockets and stuff back here. We've got vents and all kinds of cool stuff for the back passengers, shades, and everything. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and close it up. But instead of using the key, I can go ahead and push this button here. It'll beep at you a couple of times and go right on down. Alrighty, um, over here, um, these seats do stow away, and the stowaway place is under here. Um, now they manually stow away um, by folding them in, and you can also utilize the storage space under the in the floor if you like to, if you don't have your seat stored. Um, if you like, I've, I've got several videos on the stow and go seats and how they operate if you like to um, look at those, um, or if you have any questions I can make a detailed video about those. I'm going to go ahead and close the side doors here with the with the remote. And I'm going to go ahead and hop here in the front. Now this does have the proximity sensor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock it with this. And if I w put my hand right here, it will just unlock because it does sense the key. You can have my key in my pocket or in a purse and walk up to the door and just go ahead and touch the handle. It senses the key, it senses my hand and unlocks. Um, I can also lock it without the key by pushing that button. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and touch the handle, open it up, go on inside. Um, now this does have the side vents right here. Um, now on these sliding doors, these windows do roll up and down. Uh, let me go ahead and push the start button. Go ahead and push that, get everything turned on. Since I use remote start, I still have to turn the start button on in order to activate everything. Um, you see how over there, that back glass is going up and down. Uh, this does have a window sticker on it, so I'm not going to be able to roll it down too much, but you get, you get the idea. You've got a shade there, you've also got tinted glass, but you also have windows that can roll up and down. So that's really cool. And you also have this feature right here which opens up the side glass. You see that? In case you want to have some breeze going through. Um, here's your door locks, power windows, power side mirrors. You also have presets on your seats, power seats. Um, you got pockets here and there. There's your, your uh, power seats and there's lumbar support. Automatic headlights. Um, you can also adjust right here is a button to adjust your pedals in and out. Alright, I'm going to hop in. Air conditioner is nice and cool on a hot day. And you see on the digital temperature right here, it's 90 degrees. Digital uh, compass is right here. Um, and in that menu, um, I'm going to control it here with the steering wheel. 
you can go through um, tri different trips, fuel economy. Um, I can go into tire pressure and see the exact tire pressure on each tire. I can go into vehicle info and see exact temperatures of the engine and oil and all that good stuff, uh, engine hours and all that. So there's a lot to be seen and, and learned from that. Um, and also on the steering wheel, we have the um, cruise control settings here. On the back of the steering wheel, right here, I don't know if you can see that, but you see that button. Anyway, on the back of the steering wheel where you rush your hands, um, you can adjust the volume. On that side, you can adjust, change the stations on this side. So, that way you're um, pretty much hands-free. You can also synchronize your Bluetooth phone to where you can answer it through the radio system and there's the button there to answer your phone. Turn the fan down a little bit. Turn the volume down. This does have navigation. And go ahead and view the map. And uh, what's neat is you can change that little car to be any car you want. Somebody changed it to be like a Challenger or something. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it does have a hard disk drive. I think it's uh, like 30 gigs or something. Um, yeah, about 30 gigs. You can put pictures and stuff like that on there as, uh, as well as music. Sirius satellite radio, MP3 player, um, and all that. Now you can load the hard drive with this USB port right here. Um, or you can load it with a disc which goes right in there, CD or DVD and uh, you do have an auxiliary input right here and um, so you got a full menu satellite TV and all that good stuff here's a little Chrysler clock which is awesome here's your uh, temperature control now you do have heated seats in the front heated steering wheel on the front and um, you know everything else is pretty basic you got dual controls driver and passenger you can sync them if you like um, right here you've got, you've got a um, economy mode where you push that and it'll keep you from um, it just kind of keep the engine at a, at a more steady space uh, pace and and shift um, sooner and that way you get better get a little bit get better gas mileage you can turn your um, your 110 volt adapter which is somewhere around here um, anyway there's a 110 adapter somewhere in here that you can turn on and off right there um, now here's your DVD player, um, which it does have back there, which I forgot to show you, but um, I'll show you that in a second. Uh, your DVD player, and you can use headphones and all that stuff, and uh, cup holders. Make sure I got the camera here. Um, got a pocket down there, two power supplies. Let's see what we got here. This right here kind of slides around. So that way you can act, you know, so the rear passengers can utilize it as well. Um, it does have storage, and you've got your cup holders here and here. And um, this up opens up. You got more storage and a power supply in there. You got storage space in here with a USB. And there's your glove compartment with a remote control for the DVD player. You got an auto dim mirror. Um, right here you've got a place to put your sunglasses but also you can tilt it up like that so you can see what's in the back seat. It kind of gives you like a wide angle view back there. Alright, you can turn the side uh, doors on and off so nobody opens up accidentally. Um, you can slide the doors or open the back with that instead of using your key. Your garage door controls are here. The visors have mirrors with lights in them. And you've got these little lights here that turn on and off like tapping it and they swivel around so you can like read a map or whatever. Alrighty, um, lots and lots of features. I'll probably forget half a dozen of them, but I'm going to show you the stuff back here. Um, like if I don't want to use the key, I can just go like this and then open it up. You just pull the handle and it opens up already. But back here, um, Here's where your look, uh, DVD player, their screen is. And you've got controls here. Um, you've got your wireless headphones in here. And uh, in here, and let's see here. And there's a second screen here for your third row passengers. So you got two screens, and, uh, and that way you can see it from the front 
all the way, all the, all the passengers can see it. Alrighty, um, nice comfortable leather seats in the back as well. And um, you see what the controls look like here when you're on the inside. Now it does have heated seats in the in the back here too as well. Pretty interesting. So, all right. Um, my name is Mike. If you're interested in this vehicle, let me know. My my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.